more and more people have a healthy respect for antibiotics. I'm not sure it always translates into less use, but it does mean when we do use them, we like to mitigate the damage that they're doing. The thinking, the antibiotic, while killing the organism that is making us sick, also decimates all the good guys living in our digestive tract. And the empty space allows the bad guys to set up shop. And if this happens, well, we can be in all sorts of trouble. In the short term, this can mean a case of antibiotic-associated diarrhea. Stats suggest this happens in 5 to 35% of people taking an antibiotic. And then in the long run, well, we can end up with permanently disrupted gut microflora, which puts us at risk of a multitude of chronic health problems, including obesity, autoimmune problems, and inflammatory bowel diseases. Since no one wants this, we swallow a specially formulated bacteria-loaded pill and put back the good guys. Problem solved. Right? Well, not so fast. A team of researchers from Israel recently discovered that probiotics do not turn back the clock and right the wrongs of the antibiotic. Quite the opposite. They actually prolong the wrongs of the antibiotic. Join us for this episode of Better Body Chemistry TV as we see what really happens when you take a probiotic after a course of antibiotics. Better Body Chemistry TV is brought to you by Dr. Sandy, a scientist turned gremlin buster, helping you battle sugar gremlins, heffalumps, and other health horribles through better body chemistry. Remember, small things can make a big difference to your health. Let me explain what the team observed. The team treated 21 healthy human volunteers with a broad-spectrum antibiotic containing a combination of two antibiotics, ciprofloxin and metronidazole, for seven days. This is similar to what your GP might prescribe if you have an infection. Now, using sophisticated techniques to track what happened inside the guts, as well as the poop of these people, the team confirmed the antibiotic created a ghost town. This was now the start of their experiment. They wanted to know what could be done to restore the gut flora to what it was like before the antibiotic treatment. They used three approaches. Six people were given an FNT, that is they received a fecal microbial transplant of their own poop. Now this is a very high-tech solution, not currently an option for common mortals like you and me. Eight people were given a premium brand of probiotic containing 11 strains of bacteria and told to consume it twice a day for four weeks. Now, they chose a commercially available formulation, which means that this is something a health-conscious consumer could get their hands on, either as a prescription from their doctor or over-the-counter at their local pharmacy. The remaining seven people took nothing. The scenario that probably plays out most often. So, what happened? Well, using several different approaches, the team showed that the FMT was pretty much a miracle cure. It had everything back to normal within a day or two. Probably not a big surprise, but right now, not a practical option. We want to know what happened in the case of the probiotics or the do-nothing. Well, the do-nothing, which is shown in rust, actually fared quite well. Things were back to normal within 21 days. The story with the probiotic, which is shown in green, was not so rosy. At the 21-day mark, things were still off. The composition, function, and bacterial load was different. In fact, at the final checkup, five months later, the gut microbiota was still altered. It had never returned to what it was like before the antibiotic treatment. Aish, how could this be? Probiotics are supposed to be good guys. Well, I think we've somehow been programmed to see them as harmless. 
But in reality, you're swallowing live bacteria in rather large quantities. Okay, the large quantities is probably not always true. But when you buy a premium brand, you're buying quality. And part of that quality is better manufacturing processes and more bacteria. The point is, they're alive. And they want to stay that way and have lots of babies. After all, this is the prime directive. So they play dirty. By tracking who was who in the gut zoo of the volunteers, the researchers pieced together, under normal circumstances, probiotics battle to move into our guts. More often than not, they're transient, that is, they pass through. <laughs> that said, as they pass through, they can be quite helpful. Sometimes they do move in, but it takes special circumstances. Uh, there's just too much competition, but the antibiotic treatment gives them a gap. It removes the competition. With no competition, they move in lock, stock and barrel, and then they keep competitors in check. But some of those competitors are actually normal gut residents, which leaves you with a permanently altered gut flora. Good or bad? Well, it's hard to say, but this study shows probiotics do not undo the effects of antibiotics. Doing nothing is more likely to undo the effects of a course of antibiotics. Of course, that leaves you with a question, what should I do? Well, I'm not going to say don't take a probiotic alongside an antibiotic. Depending on the circumstances, it might be the right thing to do. But I do think we need to adjust our attitude towards them. Probiotics are not harmless. They're drugs, and they should be handled accordingly. Just because you can buy them without a prescription and manufacturers proclaim their virtues does not mean you should be swallowing them on a routine basis. Improve your gut microbial diversity the way Mother Nature intended. Touch nature and eat foods that contain them and sustain them, so you create better body chemistry and better health. For more ideas on cultivating the right microflora, watch the next video in this series, or visit our website at www.betterbodychemistry.com, browse our library, or enroll in one of our courses or programs. The advice is simple to follow and based on real science, not hype. If this is your first time here, be sure to subscribe to our channel so you catch future episodes of Better Body Chemistry TV.